Hey again, everybody. I'm John Gelfus, executive chef of Lula's Louisiana Cookhouse here in the heart of beautiful Owasso, Michigan on a dreary spring day. Today I thought I'd make for you one of our very favorite family dishes. Uh, I used to make this when we'd go camping. We'd uh, take Allie and half a dozen of her girlfriends when they were 12, 13 years old up north camping for the weekend. And we always had this one of those nights. Arroz con pollo. So uh, rice with chicken. And uh, I'm doing a Spanish version. This is very common through um, Spain, Portugal, all through Latin America, uh, Puerto Rico, uh, Cuba, all have different versions. Uh, today I'm doing a very Spanish version, and let's get at it. Here is everything you're going to need to make this awesome dish. I have six or seven chicken thighs, about a pound and a half of chicken. These are skin on, boneless, I happen to have, they'll do just fine. I have a teaspoon of saffron. Saffron is one of the most expensive spices in the world. It takes 80,000 flowers uh, to make one pound of saffron. Uh, it's very expensive, but you use very little. Uh, the box you see of it I have there uh, was $38, I believe, on Amazon, and it'll last the normal family the rest of their life. Uh, I have six cloves of garlic that I've minced, three bay leaves, one red bell pepper chopped, one medium onion chopped, two and a quarter cups of white rice. You can use any white rice. I'm using basmati today just because I have it and I love it. Um, I've got a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I've got a cup and a half to two cups of broccoli. Now, the vegetables in here are optional. I always put uh, vegetables in for the kids uh, when they were growing up and uh, what I usually did was uh, I'd buy one of those bags of up mixed vegetables and uh, throw a couple cups of that into this just to get them some veggies and it worked just fine. Uh, today I've got broccoli because I had broccoli in the house and I wanted to show you there's a trick with any green vegetable. If you quick blanch any green vegetable in uh, water with a little bit of baking soda you're going to get that beautiful green color and I just want to show you the difference. This was what it looked like not blanched and that's what it looked like blanched. And I literally blanched that for about 10 seconds uh, just to get the color without cooking it at all. And I've got three cups of chicken stock. So to say that I'm a food nerd would be a terrible understatement. I, uh, I get all excited about a dish like this because uh, the history. So pilaf, Turks, this goes through India, it becomes a biryani. Pilaf becomes biryani. Biryani goes to Spain, becomes paella or arroz con pollo comes to America with the Spaniards, becomes jambalaya. Uh, this is just one of the stops on the international trip that this dish has taken. And this is the Spanish version of arroz con pollo. If you do this with seafood, you've got paella. And we're going to start by browning these chicken thighs in a little bit of olive oil. And you get, get them a good brown on both sides, starting skin side down. So for a more Latin American version of this very same dish, you can do exactly the same thing. Add a little cumin, add a little cayenne, take out the saffron and substitute turmeric powder, or more authentic even, is annatto oil. Annatto oil, annatto is a little seed, it's echiote, if you've not uh, seen it called annatto. And you take about a quarter of a cup of those annatto seeds and just infuse them into maybe a cup and a half of olive oil and you've got an olive oil and you will color it and flavor it with that for a, again for a Latin American version of this very same dish. I'm going to give these about four minutes aside just to get them nicely brown. Then we're going to remove them from the pot and go on to our next step. So well, that's been about four minutes so I'm going to flip them over. They're nice brown. And those are looking nicely brown on both sides, so I'm going to remove the chicken right now. And we're going to add our red pepper and our onion. And like always when we're sweating vegetables, we're going to add a little salt. 
So this has been sautéing for about five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add our rice and our garlic. And we want to brown up this rice for about three, four, or five minutes. Hey, it's Friday! Exactly like every other day. It's been about four minutes now and you can see we're starting to get a little color on that rice. And we're going to go ahead and put in all the rest of our ingredients. There's three cups of chicken stock, 14 ounce can of chopped tomatoes, our broccoli in this case, our saffron, and our bay leaves. We'll bring that up to a boil. And once that comes up to a nice boil, we're going to return our chicken thighs right on top. We're going to add about a tablespoon of salt and a little black pepper. So now we're going to turn this down to low. Cover it. We're going to give it about a half hour. So I guess it was eight years ago now, 2012, uh, that I tried out for MasterChef and we had a ball. Uh, we is me and my imaginary friend. Um, but I actually made a friend there. Her name is uh, Dahlia Abrams and uh, she's now a, a private chef in Southern California and doing really well. And shout out to her. But we had to make a video of our life and tell stories or whatever. So. I made a video and one of the stories I told was about saffron and I said the one you know regret that I probably have um, you know at that moment in my life was that I had got just a few weeks earlier had drank too much at night and gave my brother-in-law uh, all the saffron I had like a hundred bucks worth of saffron and I'm like well that was a mistake okay well that's been one half hour so let's see what the unveiling looks like. Ah, beautiful. Well, there's what we got after a half hour on the stove on low. We're going to plate it up and have some dinner. Well, there you go. Another exciting episode, thrilling episode of Scratch Cook with John. This time, Eros con pollo. Spanish chicken and rice. I hope you enjoy and we'll see you again soon. And so today I thought I'd make for you one of our very fab... So today I thought I'd make for you one of... Today I thought I'd make for you... At some point, I'm going to have to admit to my friends over there that I really don't have an imaginary friend over here that I talk to. It's just my refrigerator. And is that weird? I mean, I also notice that I always say we. Well, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do this, but it's just me. So why do I say we? Am I afraid if it sucks, um, I won't have somebody else to blame it on?